Um, what's the word? What's the word? This y'all boy Landon with Television Talented with another banging exclusive video. Y'all know I had to come back again with Maisha. Yeah, we on the road today, you know what I'm saying? Riding, riding to success. See, that's a, that's a different type of <laughs> thing we bring to me. Yeah, you see. <laughs> hey, I only got $2 worth of gas, eight miles to go to empty, so we ain't going too far. But hey, but how's everybody's Sunday going today? And you know what I'm saying? I hope everybody is blessed. But you know how we do the show. What's up, Maisha? Um, shoot. Nothing much. Nothing much. I'm blessed, of course. Okay. I woke up today. You woke up? Yep. That's your blessing for today? Yes, sir. Okay. Say, so, hey, look, just waking up and just thanking God. That could be your blessing. And I woke up, got to chill time, spend time with all my family today. You know, give everybody love. Mm -hmm. And just seeing smiles on people's face. Yep. And letting and people let me know what my show means to them. It's my blessing for this week. And to God bless me with something else, you know what I'm saying? He blessed me with stuff daily. But that's what I'm telling y'all what my blessings is so far. So, we bring it to y'all today. Toxic relationships. I know there's a lot of people out there who been in a toxic relationship and didn't know they was toxic until after the effect you guys. Yep. Have you been in a toxic relationship? Of course. I mean, the situation that I always tell you about, you know, the guy that's in jail now, mm -hmm. it was definitely toxic. That's why I left the situation. Um, you know, I feel like it was verbally abuse. Okay. Verbal abuse, I mean. And so that's the reason why I decided to leave the situation before it got bad. Yeah. Also, I mean, it could also be like a mentally toxic person. Like somebody could mentally intoxicate you like. Yeah, with for their, sure. You know, demons. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But I look at a toxic relationship on different on different levels though. Like take a toxic rela relationship is like what's your favorite drink? Water. Sweet drink. Mm. Mr. Pure Pineapple. Okay. When you taste that, right? Mm -hmm. You sipping it. Dang this tastes good. But it leaves an aftertaste. And that's how it is when certain people get in a relationship. That dang, this tastes good. She got a body. He looks good and everything like that. So you you drinking this Mr. Pib, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Peer, constantly because it tastes good. But you never turned it over and read, read the warning label. Right. Contains abusive, mental distress, you know, person won't work. Drew. Person just dogs you out, cheats on you all the time, steals, been in jail for all type of things. Yeah. But since we knew it was sweet and looked good by just the outside appearance, we finna take this. And all of a sudden, we feel with, feel with the toxins. And we continuously go for it. Go for it. To the point that we become a toxic person. So look at a toxic relationship like this, right? Take this, this bottle. Everybody's never halfway full or all the way filled. So you go into a relationship, you got open options. So, you know what your foundation is. Okay, I work. I take care of my kids. I care for myself. All right. But then when you meet somebody, you want them to fill you up the rest of the way so you can feel complete. But if they toxic, they take this. You already pure. You got a good foundation. Right. They pour all your toxins into this until you contaminate it. To a point that you don't know how to get yourself back. You becoming what you what you are a customer of. What you never knew you could be. Never knew you could be. All of a sudden, I'm an angry person. I'm violent. Mm -hmm. I'm cursing everybody out. That's because I was a product of my environment. So you got to look at relationships versus the outer appearance versus the mental, the mm -hmm. physical and emotional appearance, what they got. That's true. Ask people what, what things they done in their last past four relationships. If they ever cut clothes up, if they ever you know, try to run their spouse over with a car or their partner <laughs> exactly. or bust windows out the car or slash if you slash tires, tires. It, go deeper. Do you take any medications for mental illness or anything like that? But see, that's what they got the internet for though too. You can search all of that up. Yeah, and that's, you got to do the research. In, look up their name. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably have to pay like a dollar ninety nine, but hey, I'd rather pay a dollar ninety nine versus paying five thousand for some clothes to get replaced. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing what you got to look at in a toxic relationship. Then once you become that toxic, there's no way that you can try to put positivity back into yourself. You got to just throw that whole situation away and start over fresh for because you if take something was black. I don't care how much white you put into it. It's still going to be black. Right. Still be black, but 
just throw the whole thing away, start over fresh, then build yourself before you let somebody try to put their lifestyle up on yeah. upon you. Because then you're confused. Yeah, you're confused. Then all of a sudden, you become one of these type of people. Have you ever been a positive, negative person? That you, you ever met, look, I met this person. They was like, Landon, I'm proud of your show, but you, you should do more stuff like playing more music. Okay, what kind of music I should play? I don't know, but you talk about good stuff, but you just need to play some music because I'll be one listening to music sometimes versus listening to you. So what's the point of talk, talking to my show? So I'm, how you gonna give me a positive negative and you don't want to be that type of person that you started off positive so you know how to be in a positive mind frame. Mm -hmm. Then you got with somebody who was toxic and they toxic made you to a negative person. But then once you're done with the relationship, you just want to try to become a positive person, but you throwing a positive negative out there right. to hurt somebody. You 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 lift them up just to stifle them and push them back down. And that's the thing what we had to bring to you guys in toxic relationships. And a toxic relationship can go from family members, yeah. a co-worker, a job can be toxic. Mm -hmm. You know Most definitely. Oh. So <laughs> you just you just definitely definitely made me think about a story, man. What's what's up? Show me a story. Okay, so of course I worked in a restaurant. I worked at restaurants. I worked at First Watch. Mm -hmm. Man, when I tell you, like, once I start moving down the line, I had, you know, salads, middle, which was the grill part, of course. I knew the whole line. I was even able to, like, you know, transport the place from the service to, okay. you know, the kitchen or whatever. But, man, them Mexicans hated on me so bad. Then my brother was working there. <laughs> so, you know, we got, like, he, he, he was quiet about it at first because it was all females. Right. But eventually, when it was a couple of them just trying to, like, you know, go out the way to bother me, you know what I'm saying? He jumped in there like, y'all got my sister messed up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to be like that sometimes. <laughs> Most definitely. So, what? So, go ahead. I mean, that was toxic because I, it made me not want to come to work. Like, because I always felt like it was a hostile environment. And, you know, I was ready. <laughs> but I, I didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that I came to work every day feeling like I might lose my job. I might not. Yeah. I don't think nobody liked that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and that's, that's that toxic star building different things in you. How, like, if you're in a toxic situation, it makes you judge yourself even worse. Like my last video I did about insecurities and self-esteem. That if you're in a toxic situation and the person always bashing you and putting you down, like you can't do anything right, it will put you in a mind frame of like, okay, what am I really doing wrong? So you trying anything you can to try to see if you get a greater outcome. Mm -hmm. Of course, you change something, they're not used to it. They're going to sit back for a day, reevaluate their situation and see how they can keep on, see how they can constantly put the toxins back into every situation you do to the point that. You start seeing toxic people in the church. Toxic people every day at restaurants. Can I take your order? Uh, can you hurry up? <laughs> Dang, okay. Why you come to work today? That it start consuming your life to the point that what, what can you do? So, I mean, nothing but be positive about it, of course. Okay. Try to at least. Okay. So, let me tell you this. So, you know I've been doing my show right. I posted a, a post in a podcast group. I'm like, hey, anybody want television talented on their show, let me know. Mm -hmm. In a St. Louis area or out of town. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying, branch out and do other things. Mm -hmm. This lady commented, was like, why? She's like, this is how you can tell when somebody trying to be rude. But if a person texts you this, not trying to be rude, but. Yeah, you already know they about to insult yeah, the mess out of you. I'm not trying to be rude, but. <laughs> Why do you think I should bring you on my platform? Because I talk about sports, media, celebrities, everything like that. So before I read this, you back. This is what I did. I went to their page. Mm -hmm. This lady show her last episode did 87 views. Mm -hmm. My last episodes I done did 568. Mm -hmm. Numbers don't lie. Did 498. Numbers don't lie. 386, mm -hmm. number don't lie. Then it did 283, my numbers don't lie. So I told her to watch my videos and let me know if I'm a fit. Because <laughs> I come to your show and I bring what I got. I'm valuable to you. Right. So I could have been toxic back to her. 
But like, I could have been toxic back to her, but it was like, what's the point of doing that? I just gotta let it be what it was. I told the lady have a blessed day, and I just kept it pushing. <laughs> so that's what you gotta fight, you know, toxic with, with nothing but pure love and positivity. Even if you don't like the person, she's making me mad. Y'all see I'm on live right now. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. That's some haters. Like, come on. <coughs> Don't call me. Need more than once at that. Like, right. You know. So, anywho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the stuff we want to bring to y'all. Bangers out the bangers. More topics that everybody afraid to listen to. Afraid to talk about. Afraid to agree upon. But we have to do it. So, that's what, that's what we do. Okay. So, what else been on your mind this week? Your, your week been stressful, been been happy? Your mommy life, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's a life in its own. I mean, you know, I've been kind of, like, exhausted, but uh, it was doing a lot of parties and things going on, so. Oh, okay. You know, everybody even graduated. Congratulations to the grads. The grads? <laughs> How you, you been getting white girl wasted? No. Nah. Oh, dancing all drunk like this? No, no. About a so week ago, a week ago. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> no, I think those days are over. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, so since you've been doing the show, you been getting any positive outcome? Any people saying what what we doing together? You know, is helping them. Um, I mean, they said they like the show. Oh, well, that's great. How you had people? <laughs> they say they. I mean, it's true stuff that we talk about. Yeah. How you ever had people take what you said and and use it as their own? Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, that happened to me a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? People watching this. My, my, what we do is for everybody. And it is. And I'm, I'm thankful that everybody watches because God put us in a situation to, you know, do this for everybody and be bold enough to have these conversations. Right. So it's like, if you like what we're doing, we don't care if you use our words or use the stuff we say. But let us let people know that. Put some respect on it. Like she said, you know what I'm saying. Why you beating around the bush? Well, Just say you know put what? some respect on it. Put some respect on television channels. <laughs> Plain and simple. Respect <laughs> on it. You know what I'm saying. Respect <laughs> on it. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying. Do that. But start liking these videos, sharing these videos, participating in these videos, and if y'all need a topic which y'all going through, y'all don't know how to get through it. We don't know everything. We don't. This is all opinion-based topics that we talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and put y'all, you know what I'm saying? Give us a topic. We... I think you need to block this person. Yeah. We do our research <laughs> and, and go. You know what I'm saying? But we don't, you know what I'm saying? We had a family function right now. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get our chill on. But we just wanted to hop up on here to let everybody know to be blessed. Have a great Sunday. Love each other. Yeah. And... Don't let the negativity in a toxic relationship, friendship, situationship, or just life consume you till you become a toxic person. And the best thing you can do is to love somebody and love yourself. And Always. those are the biggest things that we trying to spread through Television Talented is self-love. Like, you know, this is my cousin. I wouldn't be elevating it to where I'm at right now without her keeping me grounded and support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, y'all don't know, every morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I get on her nerves. Texting yes. her. Yes. <laughs> Texting her. Good morning, cuz. Good she morning, beloved. <laughs> yeah, good morning, beloved. You know what I'm saying? And she don't wake up to 7.30. And I already sent about two text messages. Hey, cuz, what's the next show? She was like, look, I'm a single mom. I got a life. I don't care about all no, that. No, 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 no. I got some help. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you do. But I'm an active mom. My bad. Active That's mom. That's what I said. Active mom. You know, yeah, active mom. <laughs> In active ways. Yes. So, but, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. But, like, when she came in my life, and I got to look at it as a blessing that when she came in, I was about to give up on television talented. That's, like, a real fact that because I was in a toxic marriage, and it started consuming me, that, consuming me that what I'm doing wasn't good enough. So I was about to just give it up. She came out of nowhere like, hey, cuz, I like what you're doing. Let me come on the show. We did a first free flow Sunday. That mother did numbers. That mother like almost 600 some views now. Then to the point now, everybody loving energy. Hey, keep your cousin on the show. And she became a car co host. I mean, and of course, I'm attractive. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure people are just looking. That's my beloved. So, you know, she just sit here and not talk. However, I have a lovely guy at home. 
Oh, now you want to. <laughs> However, like, <laughs> look, hey, I'm y'all. Talking stuff, y'all. I'm talking stuff. But. It's like, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Keep looking. But hey, look, I'm off the market. But hey, like. What? No, I'm not trying to give her that impression. No, you're not. But look, that's how you said it. You know you look good. Why you gonna toot your own but horn? But that's that's why they like your videos. Come on, because now that's why they click on it because they be want to see me. Just keep it one hundred. So you trying to say the show <laughs> ain't doing what it's doing because you on here? No, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> I'm saying the reason why our shows get great views is because people want to see me and they like my energy. But we give off <laughs> the same energy, don't we? How you know? What, how you know they don't want to see a, a chocolate sensation? Look, why can't you just follow up with that? Because you be like, yeah, I'm a I'm a attractive, handsome man. I'm like, all right, cuz, yeah. <laughs> hey, it be like that, though. It's like, I I thought we was doing good because they like our energy. They do. And, and because I'm so handsome. Oh, and God. they be like, oh, can he call me beloved? <laughs> maybe maybe it is because, you know, beauty trumped the beast. But anywho, I love the child watching, though. Yes, toot her horn, because y'all know. Y'all oh, that's not necessary, movie. but you know what I'm saying? Just keep watching, you know what I'm saying? We get them views yeah we need those you know <laughs> what i'm saying but uh i did find a place and stuff that i'm doing the um back to school book bag giveaway too oh where yeah. you going where you we, going uh where we going because yeah. you gotta be there too oh, yeah yeah see <laughs> she'll become late but she's like i'm there but uh <laughs> she's always late <laughs> i'm doing it at this church in uh south county off telegraph no test on ferry and it's called uh south side uh church of god and we get, I'm a host of there. Southside Church, Church of God. God. I'm yeah. Southside. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be up there. <laughs> Gang banging <So> for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gang banging for Jesus. But yeah, <laughs> that going to be in August. I'm finna get the dates and stuff like that. And uh, I'm also about to start teaching a man's class there too. So I'm teaching it on that book you told me that I should do on the five love languages. That's the yes. first book I'm doing it over. So. That is good. That's, that'll be good if you don't. Yeah. So doing the five love, five love languages in the men's group that I'm trying to get that to start like July, maybe August when school starts back. So that gonna be dope. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time, but you know what I'm saying. Great things coming. That's what's up. When we doing our photo shoot though? Mm, I don't know. You know, I talk. I got a lot of things going on right now. I have to you gotta move. move. I got my baby's first birthday coming up. It's just a lot. So. You know, I mean, shoot, whenever I can squeeze it in, pretty much. So, look, this is how we're going to do it. The day you moving, we'll take the photo shoot because you're already busy that day. So, while you carrying a box in, we're going to snap a picture. We're going to move board boxes in. And we'll make it work. All right. So, but, uh, yeah. Um. So, we see a lot of people on here. Well, a couple of people on here now. It was, we just, we just was kind of moving a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's going on? What's on y'all minds today? Anybody want to be brave and talk about anything? <laughs> right. Say something. Y'all y'all hearing our voices. It's like we singing to y'all. Like, oh. No, not, that's not it. Y'all, y'all, mm. I see how y'all do it. But what's up? But I seen Baby. He said, what's up? What up? Where he at? Man, that was a while ago. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> hey, but they on her, though. Oh yeah, Tim said, "What's up, bro? What's going on?" And then, um, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? We got this going though, so we gotta keep it going. Man. Keep it going. So y'all get to pick the next topic. So y'all drop in our inboxes, comment, like, share, and just let us know what the next topic we need to do. Or well, we can do a Q and A. That'd be cute. That'd be cool too. Yeah. Q and A. They can ask us the questions they want to ask. Yeah. You so know? that could be for next show. You know. Because I'm saying? pretty sure people, you know. Some people may have questions about your situation right now, your marriage situation, and all of that. You know, people like to know information like that. Hey, <laughs> I got answers. You know what I'm saying? I like, like the last guest on the show. She said, "I'm just a, I'm just a squirrel in this big world trying to get a nut." What? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> the last girl. The one internet when she was on that. The one I did about uh mental illness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't the last person, but yeah. That's why I was like, Samara was the last person. I know that, but I was trying to go back. Oh, well. Dang, yeah, that's, that's talking about. That. I'm sorry. I think, I, I think that went over, over my, my head. head. Yeah. Dang, you finna attack me? He's like, what's she saying? <laughs> Dang, my bad. Oh, SOS. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. dang, so. But yeah, what's going on, Austin? 
So, bangers coming. And yeah, we, we got some heat. What's up with this merchandise, though? When we finna launch those those turbans and bonnets and scarves, oh, I, we got to hey, get you, you, know, a, you you know, on a schedule. <laughs> you know, I just have to just, you, we got to get you an assistant. Anybody want to be her assistant? Assistant? What do I need an assistant for? I'm my own assistant. Well, you're so busy. And we're trying, we trying to get to a million views every episode. This man don't understand. That's what we need to talk about on a podcast. Talk about what? The fact that you acting like you don't understand motherhood. I don't. I don't have the parts. I don't have uh, ovaries. I don't. I can't carry a baby and nurture a baby in my womb for nine months. So I don't understand. But this is what I do understand. I'm talking it about take, when the baby's alive. When the takes, baby's out. It takes hard work. You got to feed the baby. You got to wash the baby. You got to love the baby. You got to talk to the baby. Put the baby to sleep. Right, but look, I told you. Look, look, y'all. I work basically day in and day out, pretty much. Monday through Friday. I only got the weekends off, so that's the only time I really got a chance to, you know, see my son. He sleep when I get home. I try to wind down, get everything together for the next day. Boom. Back over at work. It's like I just live there. That's what it feels like. Like they say, a woman who don't work, a woman don't eat. I mean, I ain't got a problem with working, trust and believe. But I don't want to be there all day. I'd rather be in at 6 and off at 2. That's what's up. Like, I don't mind going, getting up there early to do what I got to do, you know? So. You would be up there early? Yeah, I used to work 6 to 2 all the time. Oh, because when I text you at 6 in the morning, you get all aggravated at me. What do you mean? That's because it's 6 in the morning. I'm like, dude, did you wake up and say, Let's, let me text Maisha? I text, I text a, a series of people. I See, text like 40. Me out, take me out of the rotation. You're the first person. That, you know what? I'm going to put you at the bottom of the list. So I'm going to text you. I text you at 6 now. I'm going to start texting you at 16. Why are you texting me at 16? Because by the time I, I text everybody, you know what I'm saying, I text them so much it's automatic program. So oh, the only thing goodness. I have to say is good, morning, sure. boom, boom, boom. Because you know how the iPhone is automatic program to message you. Doop. Send it all. Doop. <laughs> <laughs> My bad for sending encouragements and stuff in the morning. That's not a problem, but what do you mean? You know what? That's something to talk about off camera, dude. I'm they don't care. Broken. These people don't care. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> you so funny. Uh, well, you know what? It's more people arriving at the party. We got to get up off of here. Yeah. We having a family cookout. No, not like a cookout, but you know. TT back there grilling. You know yeah. what I mean? At the family reunion, <laughs> who we introducing? This is my cousin, and she say we only get views because she's beautiful. <laughs> but hey, y'all, y'all really stay blessed. And this y'all boy Landon and y'all girl Maisha from Television Talented just want to come here. Maisha, never had. Oh, I mm. to get mm. to know mm. you better. Yeah. Maisha. That used right. to be the show back That's in the it. day. That was a song. That was a song, but I don't know who that was by. But I wasn't even. I was young when they had that. It said Aisha. Whatever. Anybody know what that song is? Drop it in the comments, cause I don't know what that song called. But, I think it's called Aisha, but yeah, it was a TV show with Brandy. No, that was Moisha. Oh, wow. But if there was a song called Aisha, and it was by somebody, but anywho. <laughs> but <laughs> y'all know when we come to this part of the show, y'all know I love you. God loves you. Television so talented loves, loves you. you. And you know, it's only <laughs> one way to heaven. That's with God himself. Through God himself. And you always can find a light in the dark room. Just depends on where you're looking at. But stay driven, motivated, and encourage others through love. Until next time. Deuces. <laughs>